All right, hey everyone. Uh, let's get into the game. So I wanted to get and explain. I wanted to explain my uh, Steam controller setup and see if you'd like to use it or not. Also get some help later on as well because this is actually my first time trying out the Steam controller, you know, config and messing around with everything. And I've gone down a big rabbit hole. It's pretty fun. I I really enjoy the Steam controller now. I've been using it just for like a desktop remote or whatever, but. Yeah, I wanted to play this game and use the scene controller as well, so that's what I've been trying to do for a while. Okay, so the the left pad, as you can see on here, is just for movement. I didn't want to use the joystick because, yeah, I don't know, just just seemed more natural to use this one. The look uh, looking around is the right pad, and I kind of added the the what is it the ball effect, mouse ball effect on it, so it just continues on even after I let go. I like it. Blur's kind of nice too. And I enjoyed the blur. I know. Heresy. Alright. So on the left pad, if you press it, it's jump. You know, you're walking around. On the outer rim, there is a sprint. If you just kind of go into it and get out, it's one. But in this game, if you hold it and go, it'll, it'll run, right? And to get out of that, you either just kind of let go and back on or I added the another sprint button on the back right See that back right sprint so as you're running you want to get out you just sprint again and I think yeah you, you pretty much get out on the right pad button on the middle on the middle of it, right directly in the middle, you'll just do an attack. Really quick to attack. If you can do that. But also on the outer, you can change your characters. Right? So you have one, two, three, four. Alright. Uh, let's go to the triggers. So on the on the left trigger. If you soft pull, soft press it, what I'm doing right there, you can kind of see it's going back and forth. It's already activated. You can also have gyroscope. Now I added gyroscope because I like to do this. Right? Kind of nice to do. Then you go. And then uh, full press, full press on the left back. Uh, Full trigger, yeah. Full trigger press is the ult. You still got your E. You just need to not do the full press. That's just a muscle memory thing. I might change that later, but like if it gives me more too many issues, I'll change the the ult. But I like to have the uh, the, the the spells or whatever kind of close together. That's my personal preference. Um, what is it? If you hold the left pad button, this pad, right? The one I'm, you can see it on there on the image. It'll bring up the mouse and you can kind of select the buttons if you need to do that really quick. So like I have a little message right here. I'm gonna select that with the right soft press. I'll do that. Oh, it's any events. Boom. And kind of navigate like that. Just give, give an example. You can also full press it. It's the same thing. Uh, escape is the left button next to the steam. You do that. Or you can also hit escape on the joystick up. If you're feeling like you the, the button is too small. I feel like it's a little too small. I also have the rubber uh, cover on the controller. So that's why it feels like a very small button and it's hard to get to. Um, to the other side, let's go to the archer. So for the archer, I wanted to do a soft pull pretty much all the way. You can kind of see that the soft pull is pretty much all the way, but it has gyro also. So I wanted to be able to do a full press, go back, go back on the uh, soft pull and quickly get back into the aim, right? Yeah. 
So there's that. If you hold down the full trigger, it'll just continuously hit left left mouse button and uh, continuously attack. If you just don't want to bother with having to <laughs> do a ton of presses and yeah, sometimes how the game is. Um, the what was this one? Oh yeah, this one is the the right pad button is for picking up stuff. So there's an F. But also, if you just want to hold down that right pad button, it'll continuously press F for you. So if you have a lot of items on the ground, you just press, press, press. You know, it'll press it for you a bunch of times, and it'll just pick up. Like right now, I'm just pressing it a bunch of times, and I'll pick this up. There we go. There's those buttons. Um, there's nothing on these buttons right here. You know, the YXBA. I haven't really figured out anything to do with those. Uh, I don't think I went over these. The back buttons, the left back button is jump. And the back right button is a dash. I went through the dash. Um... Oh, the the menu. So if you do the joystick down, it will bring up a menu. But I haven't figured out how to do, actually pick that menu, like with the mouse. So I just made my own. And so here they are. And I also made my own icons because I can't find them online. I st these are the only icons I've made so far. I didn't make this one though. So I made, I made the wish, the handbook, inventory, character, map quests and events and you can't for some reason I can't figure out how to press the button and have it selected right that would be the optimal way of doing it and it would just go into it but I haven't figured out how to do that it keeps wanting to go over there and change the character so if you can help me out how to figure that out that'd be great the only way I've understood how to do this is if I hover over the button that I want and let go of the joystick and then it'll select it for me and then I just press escape for that or joystick up which is escape yeah. So you can just do that, let go of the joystick, then back out. And that's it for that. A little... Uh, here's another thing I'm working on, which I don't really like at the moment, but I'm kind of experimenting with, is if I go to, you know, hit escape, hit the right button next to the Steam icon or the button on your controller, it'll switch to Xbox controller. So now you have to actually hit the back left back button once it'll move the mouse over there hit it twice it'll open up that hold it and it'll switch to the controller so now you can kind of use it like a controller you know move around here say you wanted to go to your party setup select that wait a little bit now you can kind of switch really quickly and boom but it still feels really slow to have to go through all that setup. Oh. Because then you still have to switch to... Then you still have to go and switch back. And it's just very tedious. And I keep messing up the A and the B. And it's easier to switch on there because, you know, it's just Xbox controller. Now you can't do anything here you can't move you can see I'm trying to move I'm out of the I'm you know, I'm, I'm using the keyboard whatever but now yet again you have to s switch out of your actually actions action set now you're back to your game default and you're all set to go I believe those are all the commands uh, let's go check out the actual steam configuration so there's the game defaults you are basically you know you're in the game you got the Q the button that says hey go to the, this action later when you're doing the soft press so that means you're doing these right here which is it's now an E but also gyroscope don't know why I have joystick mouse there maybe I was messing around with it earlier I think that's just a mistake from earlier all right uh, we went through the this is a mouse while in game so you can hold it down so a regular press is the is the is the cursor and then the double press is a walk yeah so you can just use it like a normal button hold it down so 
it's the mouse. So you need to pick the icon. Uh, this is jump. Oh, it's also elemental sight. I forgot about that. But if you, you probably don't use this a lot, but I just wanted to add it. It'll be the ele elemental sight. You just gotta press and hold the back left button. It's a, it's a long hold, but you can change that if you'd like. I figure if you're gonna use that anyways, you're gonna have some time, right? Uh, escape key on that one. Movement and jump. Uh, this is the act this one's for the menu circle. This escape up and down is for the action layer. The menu circle, that's what I'm calling it. So right now it'll just hit tab. It'll hit hit tab like a normal button, but then when you release it, it'll remove the action layer. So you're back to your your normal configuration. Uh Pad button, nothing here. I'm kind of just saving it for whatever later on if I want to add something. Uh, normal mouse button. This will change to the Xbox controller so that you can do the menus like an Xbox controller and stuff like that. You move around. Um, it does have all the other controls and stuff, right? So if you did kind of want to just play it like an Xbox controller, switch it, switch it in the uh, settings, and then you're pre pretty much right, good to go. But yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, left sh shift is basically the dash. We got the F, which is the uh, regular press is just an F. A long press will do the hold to repeat. So it'll just keep repeating F. And then the left mouse button is the uh, full press is the left mouse, and the top press is the left mouse. But it only activate if you've kind of gone all the way with the full the full press. And I did the hip fire because I want to kind of do a, a really quick reactivation on it. I still haven't figured out how to just have it so that if I want it, I'll, I'll show you like this. So what I would like to do on that, let me pick these up. Pick up. Okay. What I would like to do is if I was holding this down just barely like this right here, you see, you see I'm barely pressing down. I would like to start the boat charging up, right? And then I would like to make it full press just to sh shoot it off. But I cannot figure that out. But right now, I just have it full press, come back, and back into it really quick. And that seems to be working out for me right now. And then, as always, I can just have the full press being the auto fire. Yeah, so if I hold full press it, she'll do a full charge. Or I can just hold it down, she'll be fighting forever. And then do that. Fight, 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 fight. Nope. Seems to go away. Fight, fight, fight. Oh, I see. So if you charge up, it goes away. What you can do is... Do that. We'll press it. And then down. Yeah. I love doing that. Um, I think that's about it. Now we can go into the menu circle. I did. I don't think I went to the radial menu here. So it's basically, you know, radial menu. Uh, I made it as big as possible. Uh, no opacity. And then you pick the wish, adventure book, characters, press, and all that. And you know, if you had wanted to add more, you could add more. I just want to keep it pretty much original. And then when you add the icon, it should be should be blank for you because you just don't have it yet. Unless I haven't I don't know if you if you add the the icons right into the folder of the Steam control in your Steam folders. If you add it where you're supposed to, which is like the bind icons, um I don't know if it'll instantly add it for you, but if not, then just go there, select it, and you're good to go. I think that's it thank you for watching my video um please leave a comment not for any kind of like youtube reasons but just let me know that you, you what your thoughts are on this and if you have any recommendations on things to change that you've seen that help you out with the steam controller let me know i've been trying to you know i've been trying to check out the other ones oh i'm under attack they shouldn't be coming over here it's too far for them yeah see
No, go away. Go away. Go away. Yeah, go away. All right. Uh, if, you, if you've also been doing the same controller and you've found some better ways of doing things, uh, let me know. And if you found any issues where I, you know, maybe the, um, the menu, I can actually press it and it'll actually activate. That would be nice. Or the, um, you know, how to, do, how to do the bow better. I hate using the R. Absolutely hate using the R. Do not recommend it to me at all. <laughs> I've tried so many ways with the, uh, you know, pressing that, pressing this R button right here. It sucks. Tons. Because if you're pressing the R and you get hit or you dash or something, it keeps you in that, you know, the charging up state. I don't like that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Have a, have a nice night or whatever. Have a good day. Bless. Bless out.